previously we looked at the lead turn against an unaware bandit. Aware bandits will either disengage or stay in the fight. So if they stay, it usually results in one of two types of fight. At the merge, if you and the bandit turn in the same direction, that's a two circle fight and that's going to be based on your turn rates. If you turn in opposite directions, it's a one circle fight and that's going to be based on your turn radius. Knowing if you're two circle or one circle tells you how to approach the fight. So here we're going to look at a two circle fight from a neutral position without doing any lead turning beforehand. So here we are, bandit is in front of us. We're going to have some vertical separation as we approach. We're going to initiate a two circle fight by turning away from each other. So we both make our turn to the left. This creates the turn rate fight. So whoever can maximize their turn rate and get around the circle the fastest will have the advantage of the next pass. It doesn't matter what the radius is in this case. Now if you're watching the bandit, you can see that we're pretty close here. And if I in fact did a lead turn before the merge, I could have had an angular advantage at the next pass. Here we can visualize the two circle fight. When you and the bandit turn in the same direction at the merge, this is what creates this scenario. This means you'll need to maximize your turn rate by creating turning room in your plane of motion before the merge and then turn into the bandit across their tail at your best turn rate airspeed and hold it. To help gain the advantage faster, it can be useful to utilize a lead turn before the merge. Also, the two circle fight will create larger separation than one circle fights, so you've got to be careful not to lose sight as the bandit crosses behind you. And lastly, if you're sacrificing altitude, pull to the buffet to maintain your best turn rate. In this example, we're going to do a one circle fight. From here, acting as if we're going to be performing a regular lead turn, we're inducing the banner to turn into us, creating a two circle. Then we'll reverse, so the bandit is turning right and I'm turning left, creating that one circle radius fight. And since my turn radius is smaller than his, I can stay inside of his turn circle and maintain an offensive advantage. For the one circle horizontal fight, this will happen when you and the bandit turn opposite directions at the merge. Your goal is going to be to minimize turn radius in the fight which you'll do by minimizing turning room in your desired plane of motion before the merge. You'll also fly this at a slower airspeed and turn away from the bandit, usually at the buffet. The one circle fight will have less separation than two circle, but you still may lose sight as you turn away. By choosing a one circle fight, you're losing turning room in your maneuvers plane of motion after the merge. This means it's important to merge as close as you can in plane with the bandit, but still keep some out of plane turning room. In this, we're going to look at a one circle vertical fight and we're going to be seeing how it can be useful to have a high energy state before the merge. Now the bandit and I were at high airspeeds before the merge. As we pass, we both go up into the vertical. I can utilize my tighter turn radius to get around first and point my nose at the bandit, but doing so is likely to sacrifice some energy and I'm going to be at a lower energy state than the bandit. So my attempt to recover some energy the bandit can now come down from his higher altitude and energy state and push me onto the defensive. So as we saw in the one circle vertical fight, this occurs when you and the bandit both pull straight up at the merge. Your goal is going to be to minimize your turn radius in the fight while also trying to maintain more energy than the bandit. Your plan to do this is to minimize your vertical turning room before the merge and then go vertical. If you end up being the higher fighter, you're going to be the one with a better energy state, but a higher radius, so this opens you up to an attack. But you also get a gravity assist as you come down on the lower fighter while it's trying to recover energy. If you're the lower fighter, you're likely going to have a worse energy state, but a tighter radius. This could create a snapshot chance, but it's not always going to have enough energy to lead turn the higher fighter and try and maintain an offensive advantage afterwards. So if you end up being the lower fighter, it's important that you recognize this and attempt to recover your energy and prepare to counter the bandit's next move. That completes the video on one and two circle fights. If you enjoyed it, let me know with the like button or leave a comment. And don't forget to be a subscriber using that bell icon. And this way, whenever I post a new video, you'll get a notification and you can be one of the first ones to see it.